Say that Solar again. Collapse. What shape did you say the Earth was? Flat like your head. <laughs> <laughs> what shape do you reckon it is, Rob? Flat. <laughs> That's the way. Looks flat to me. <laughs> so clearly we were just having a laugh at flat earthers because in 2019, nobody takes them seriously anyway. Unfortunately, any person still claiming that the Earth is flat is really just showing the audience that they struggle with basic mathematics and understanding geometry. Myself and numerous other Flat Earth debunking channels have shown countless examples of why the Earth cannot be flat. So I think that anyone that has engaged Flat Earthers for a while will agree with me that the common denominator with most of them seems to be an extreme weakness in mathematics and spatial awareness. And I know it's quite easy to just write them off as being dumb people, but I think that's probably a little unfair because what I believe is occurring here is that the typical flat earther suffers from a disorder like dyscalculia without realizing it. If you or your child struggles with mathematical formulas, shapes and spatial awareness, it could be dyscalculia, a learning disability that makes it challenging to process and understand math. Now this affects about 5% of the population and apparently many people who have it are undiagnosed and not aware of it. And I believe this is the reason why the average flat earther simply cannot understand how the equinox sun angles prove the Earth is not flat. We make up language if we don't have it. And in mathematics, this is essential. It's also about making assumptions and playing around with these assumptions and just seeing what happens. And we're going to do that very soon. And representations is all over mathematics. This is Leibniz's notation from 1675. He invented a language for patterns in nature. When we throw something up in the air, it falls down. Why? We're not sure, but we can represent this with mathematics. It falls down. Why? We're not sure, but we can represent this with mathematics. So clearly we were just having a laugh at flat earthers because in 2019, nobody takes them seriously anyway. Unfortunately, any person still claiming that the earth is flat is really just showing the audience that they struggle with basic mathematics and understanding geometry. Snowfell is supposed to be 621 metres tall. You can calculate the angular distance between the two platforms by taking their bearings from the observation point, and then it works out to 1.32 degrees. This gives a scale in pixels for the picture, and knowing that Snowfell will have an angular size of 0.30442 degrees, And on this picture, you can only see 0.04 degrees above the water. So the majority of Snowfell is still underwater. As illustrated there, the arrow drawn, vertical arrow is where Snowfell should appear if the top of it was as in that picture.
Uh, and just remember when I fade this in uh, that the yellow ball is at 3750 meters above sea level. All right, so you can see when I fade in my render uh, that those uh, hills in the foreground uh, obscure Pikes Peak just a little bit below uh, that yellow ball. So it looks like we can only see uh, down to about 3,700 meters, uh, which is about 12,000 feet above sea level. Uh, 